Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you guys all back to my channel. I had to use artificial lighting right now, so I'm really like, this This lighting is super, super bright on me, and I'm just gonna do it anyway. So, today we are here to talk about how I track my fitness in my bullet journal. First off, I'd like to say, if you guys have not subscribed to me, please go down and click the subscribe button, and don't forget to check me out on all my social media, but let's just go ahead and start talking about the ways that I started tracking in my bullet journal. If you guys remember talking about my 2018 notebooks, I said that I was going to be tracking my fitness in this. This is the Midori A5 graphing notebook. I got it off Amazon. I will try to link it down below if you're interested. Um, it's a good notebook, but as you guys can see, it's kind of empty. I started off writing in this book and then I kind of just stopped. Um, I feel like I just don't want to go. I don't want to have another another notebook to worry about. So I feel like I might change this into something else or just throw it away altogether. Cause I don't know, I feel I have this thing where if I start a notebook one way and I don't use it that way, then I no longer want to use it that way, if that makes sense. So I might just take off the cover and use it on something else. Haven't quite decided, but I'll let you guys know what I do with it. Um, then I also got this other, it was a A5, traveler's notebook insert that I also got off Amazon that I will link down below and that is what I used to track my fitness most of last year now that book is finished and I was like you know I am just going to track it directly into my bullet journal in my weeklies as a weekly spread so I'm just gonna do this where I'm talking about my bullet journal while I set it up so hopefully this works so the first thing that I do when I plan out my workouts is I actually put all my workouts on my phone in, in a note. That way, while I'm working out, I don't have to carry an extra notebook. I can keep track of how many sets, the weights, all that stuff. Um, I write out my entire workout schedule for the week. I choose the cardio that I want to do for each day. I choose the sets of workouts that I want to do for each um, for each day. And then as I actually get through them, I go through and fill out, you know, weights, um, how many sets I do and how many reps I do. I usually do three sets. So if I do more or less than three sets, that's the only time that I note that in my notes. So um, of course, my Apple Watch is also tracking calories and how much um, time I'm spending working out. Um, another thing that I do is separate is with cardio. I write down specifically how many minutes of cardio that I do. And then if it's like Stairmasters, how many floors? And then, you know, if it's everything else, like elliptical, you know, stuff like that. I also do interval training on the spin bike, which I, tr I do not track specific time or anything. I just do the workout and then I'm done. So once I track it on my phone, then usually when I get to work and sit down at my desk while everybody is getting their first cups of coffee and taking that first smoke break, I'm usually looking at my bullet journal because I use my bullet journal for work, for my job, my nine to five job um, as an engineer. And then I use it for my hobbies such as YouTube and things. And then I also use it for personal but um, for work, I usually get in and check my calendar in the morning because sometimes meetings pop up, of course, after I've already gotten off work. So I plan out my day. I plan out, you know, do I have any meetings or anything? And I add that to my bullet journal for the day. And then I go to the next page is usually where I start writing my fitness journal. So we're just going to set up um, Monday's workout day because I have it planned out already. And I'm just gonna keep trying to show you the examples that I did from previous weeks. Now, I will note that though I schedule every day, I schedule Monday through Friday for my workouts, but there are some days where I just, I don't go or I don't feel like going and I give in to that. So I'm trying to stay honest in my bullet journal about what I do and how I do it. And essentially, it's just a log. That way, A, I could go back and see um, have I gotten stronger with certain workouts? Because I believe that for me, I do three sets. If I have a weight where I can successfully do 20 reps per set, then that means I can go up in weight. And that's the measurement that I've kind of been using. But the only way that I know that is if I can look back on what I've done. So I, um, 
I still haven't, I've, for, for the month of March, rather, I'm going to do this thing where I'm going to do the exact same workouts all four weeks. So it's going to be very repetitive, um, in terms of what I do, but I'm trying to see like, does that give me a better idea of being stronger? Plus I, um, I would like to also start including meal, like what I eat in a day type things, but I'm trying to decide if that's too much for like, if that, if that kind of daily is what I want to commit to, because that's a lot. Like I really like my weekly spread, but, um, maybe there's some way that I can include it into my weekly spread where it's not too much. But then I feel like my weekly spreads are about to be like insane because I have the weekly spread that's normal and then I have my exercise, which is technically a daily. Um, so yeah, um, in the, in each one, I always try to include the day and the date and then what I'm working on. So, you know, for example, if it's a booty day, I'm going to put booty at the top and then I'm going to put, um, calories for how many calories I burn type of cardio that I chose to do that day and it's stats. And then underneath I have workouts, um, workouts, sets, reps, and pounds. And then if you notice on this, sometimes I have little connectors. That means that that was done in an entire set. And for those of you who don't know, a set is a workout that you do back to back and then you rest. So I like doing those because A, um, that helps me maximize the time that I have in the gym as I have a very, very specific time from four to five. That's the only time I have to work out in the gym. So I really have to utilize that hour to the best of my abilities. Three, two, one. All right, guys. So that was how I track my fitness in my bullet journal for right now. My question for you guys is, how do you track your fitness or do you even track your fitness? Let me know down below in the comments. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time, guys. Bye.